Prompt typing is not as easy as it sounds. You need to be clear, specific, and creative to get the best results. To show you how to go from basic to pro level in prompt typing, they use different techniques and algorithms to transform your ideas into visual reality. But how do you write effective prompts that can capture your imagination and produce the best results? That's what we are going to find out in this video. There is a magic trick in the end which will help you to generate free image in DALL-E 3. Welcome to AI Tools Corner, where I show you how to use the latest and greatest AI tools to create amazing images. Today, I'm going to teach you the art of prompt typing, which is the skill of writing a short text that describes what you want the AI to generate. I will use two of the best AI tools for image generation, CART and DALL-E 3. We will start with some basic prompts and then move on to more advanced ones. We will compare the outputs of DALL-E 3 and CART and see which one suits your needs better. Let's get started I will use an example prompt, a six-year-old boy with blonde hair, blue eyes, and a red cap, making a wow facial expression and sticking out his tongue. Now I will type this prompt in both CART and DALL-E 3 and see what they generate. Here are some of the images they produced. As you can see, the images are not very interesting or realistic. They are just simple drawings of a little boy with a surprised face. This is because the prompt is too vague and does not give enough information to the AI. We need to add more details to make the prompt more specific and creative. Let's move on to the intermediate level. I will type the same prompt, but add some more details to it. The new prompt is, a six-year-old boy with blonde hair, blue eyes, and a red cap, making a wow facial expression and sticking out his tongue, is riding a large orange tabby cat that is biting a big dead salmon. Let's see what CART and DALL-E 3 generate now. Wow, what a difference! The images are much more fun and colorful. They show the little boy riding an orange cat that is biting a fish. The AI has added some details that we did not specify, such as the cat's fur pattern, the fish's color, and the boy's clothes. This is because the prompt is more specific and creative, and gives the AI more clues to work with. We can see that CART and DALL-E 3 have different styles and interpretations of the prompt, but they both produce good results. Now, let's go to the pro level. I will type the same prompt, but add even more details to it. The new prompt is, a six-year-old boy with blonde hair, blue eyes, and a red cap, making a wow facial expression and sticking out his tongue, is riding a large orange tabby cat that is biting a big dead salmon. They are being chased by many angry people, including a fishmonger, a policeman, and a shopkeeper, on a busy market street full of colorful stalls and signs. The scene is in the afternoon and the sun is shining. The boy and the cat are moving very fast and there is a motion blur effect around them. Let's see what CART and DALL-E 3 generate this time. Amazing! The images are very dynamic and realistic. They show the little boy riding an orange cat that is biting a fish, chased by many angry people, on the market street, with a speed effect. The AI has added many details that we did not specify, such as the people's faces, the street signs, the buildings, and the motion blur. This is because the prompt is very specific and creative, and gives the AI a lot of information to work with. We can see that CART and DALL-E 3 have very different styles and interpretations of the prompt, but they both produce excellent results. CART and DALL-E 3 are both generative models that can produce stunning images from text prompts. They use different techniques and algorithms to transform your ideas into visual reality. We will compare CART and DALL-E 3 based on four criteria, realism, creativity, diversity, and speed. Realism how realistic and natural the images look. CART is better than DALL-E 3 in this criterion, as it uses a large database of high-quality images to match the words and generate realistic pictures. DALL-E 3's images may look less realistic and more abstract or distorted than CART's images. Creativity, how novel and original the images are. DALL-E 3 is better than CART in this criterion, as it uses a more flexible and expressive model to interpret the words and generate artistic pictures. DALL-E 3 can create images that are unexpected, surprising, or humorous, and can also handle complex or ambiguous prompts. CART's images may look more predictable, boring, or repetitive than DALL-E 3's images. Diversity, how varied and different the images are. DALL-E 3 and CART are both capable of generating diverse images, 
but they have different strengths and weaknesses. Dolly 3 can generate more diverse images in terms of style and theme, as it can create images that are surreal, fantastical, or whimsical, and can also mix and match different elements from different domains. C-Art can generate more diverse images in terms of details and features, as it can create images that are rich, detailed, and nuanced, and can also adjust the colors, shapes, sizes, and positions of the elements. Speed, how fast and efficient the images are. C-Art and Dolly 3 have similar performance, but they may vary depending on the complexity and length of the text prompts and the quality and resolution of the images. C-Art may be faster than Dolly 3 for simple and short prompts, as it can quickly find and combine the best images that match the words. Dolly may third be faster than C-Art for complex and long prompts, as it can quickly generate and display the images without searching and processing a large database of images. The magic trick is to create free image using Doll.e3, you can use Bing search engine. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about prompt typing. Now you can experiment with different ideas and tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Which AI tool do you prefer, C-Art or Dolly 3? Which level of prompt typing do you like, basic, intermediate, or pro? What other prompts would you like me to try in the future? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to AI Tools Corner for more videos like this. Until next time, bye!